Hi guys, I'm Tony James. Welcome to Let's Get Running. And I've done something I've not done since school. I've bought in a pair of Adidas shoes. But before we go running in the new shoes, it's time to enjoy the outside room and have a play with the dog. She wins, as always. Hi guys, welcome back. If this is your first time to the channel, thank you very much indeed uh, for spending the time with us today. Can you do me one favor though? Hit the subscribe button or hit the bell and turn on your notifications. That way you'll find out whenever I upload new running content. And boy, we've got plenty of it coming your way over the next couple of months. So today it's another new shoe day, yay! It's getting very sad that when I started running 18 months ago, I had one pair of shoes. I am now up to six. And it's different shoes for different things. So I think I'm turning into a shoe geek. <sighs> anyway, today we're talking about Adidas. All day I dream about sports. I think that's what it means. Well, it was something similar to that we were saying at school back in the day. Yeah, but this is the first time I bought uh, Adidas shoes uh, since I was at school, which means it's been a very, very long time. We're going to be looking at the Adidas Adizero RC2, which is this right here. Now, the reason I've gone for this Adidas, well, there was two reasons, actually. One was the price. Now, these shoes normally sell for about 90 pounds just over a hundred dollars i got this pair for 45 actually just short of 45 pounds so about half price it's a bargain it's got to be had when it comes to running shoes i was looking for a new budget pair of shoes to run in because when i started as i said nearly two years ago i started out in a pair of carimores now as you can see they are looking rather weathered rather battered and there's about five five and a half hundred miles on these and they're coming to the end of the line because the rubber has started to go on the back so i've been looking for a budget replacement for the carimores bye bye so, as I said, I was looking for a budget replacement and up pop these Adidas for only £45. Thought we'll give them a go. So there we are. They've been, they've arrived, unboxed them earlier on and this is really first talk through. We'll be taking them out for a run in just a minute. But just looking at these, they look quite nice, don't they? Not a bad colourway. Mainly black, nice orange stripe through the light strike foam, which I'll talk about in a moment. And obviously with it being Adidas, You've got to have the three stripes. Now, the one thing you won't be able to tell from the way I'm handling this shoe is the weight. This is so light for a budget shoe. It's come in at 218 grams, which is now on the screen in ounces. But 218 grams, it is so, so light, which, which was, I was quite taken aback by. So a couple of stats about the shoe itself, as I say, 218 grams in a UK size 10, which according to the box is a US size 10 and a half, 11 ish. So a couple of stats. First of all, the drop between the heel and the toe is a 10 mil drop. Um, so it's not too bad. But as you can tell from the shoe itself, it's not a very thick stack. It's it's a racing flat. It's taking you back to the racing flat. So it's not going to be as cushiony and as bouncy as if you if you wear those thicker shoes. So we'll, we'll find out more about that when we take it out. But as you can tell, it's not a, th a thick stack. Now, the thing with these Adizeros, Adizeros is it is just the light strike material all the way through. If you look at the Amigo 5, that's got uh, the light strike and then it's got the boost material. But this version, it's the little brother, so it's all light strike. So we'll be finding out how that fares shortly. So if we look at the outer sole, we've got, according to the website, it's the Continental Rubber. But there's no Continental logos on it, like you find on other uh, Adidas shoes. And according to a few people who know these things on the internet, it's just 
a rubber. It's not continental rubber. But hey, the website says continental, so we'll go with what Adidas tell us. So he's got the, the rubber on the main foot pad. Again, a bit coloured there as well, so it gives it a nice little look. Uh, there is a small sliver of white rubber on the uh, light strike on the back, so to protect that light strike uh, material. It's got a sliver of rubber on the back. And then we've got the Adidas Torsen system, which gives it a little bit more stability through, uh, through the, uh, the outsole. Now the shoe itself is a neutral shoe, but the heel is well constructed. There's plenty of a uh, in, in the heel there, so hopefully that's going to sit nice. But the main part of the upper, it's the, um, it's a weave material. It is breathable. It looks like it'll be breathable, and you can actually see through it. So uh, it looks like a well-made shoe for a budget price. It does look well-made. The tongue is uh, connected at the bottom, so it is a loose tongue, but it feels padded. And then obviously we've got uh, the lacing system and we've got two spare eyelets at the top should we need it. So that's how it's looking on the outside on first inspection. But there's only one thing you can do with a running shoe and that's bob it on, lace it up and take it for a spin. Right, and we are back. And as you can tell, I'm sweating. It's one of those rare sunny days and we've been out enjoying it. So, the Adidas Adigero RC2. We've just had it out on the road. You can tell we've got a bit of grime on there. Just on a 5K run, just over three miles. And um, didn't go out to run any particular pace, just went out and ran at a pace that felt comfortable. When I looked at the watch afterwards, that pace was six minutes, 50 seconds per mile. <laughs> so uh, we were motoring, but it didn't feel like it. So what can I say about this Adigero RC2? Wow, absolutely wow. It cost me less than 45 pound. It's a budget running shoe. And I've just been blown away on that 5K, literally, even though I'm sweating. Um, Holding that pace in this shoe was great, no problems whatsoever. And what really did surprise me, you've only got that light strike foam uh, all the way through the midsole. Um, and I was really, I, I, wasn't, I was gonna say pleasantly surprised. It, it wasn't pleasantly, I was, uh, let's put it in a Northern term, I was gobsmacked. The amount of bounce I was getting from this shoe exceeded my expectations. Now, as I was expecting it to be on the firmer side, and to some people it probably is a little bit firmer than normal, but for me, the bounce return I was getting from this shoe was fantastic. I would say it's similar to the bounce I was getting in the New Balance uh, Fresh Phone Tempos, which I reviewed a couple of days ago. You can watch the video, just click the link that's up here somewhere. And for 45 pounds, it was comparable to that New Balance shoe. And to be honest, if, you, if you've watched my review of it, of the New Balance the Tempo, I had a complaint, only one little complaint, which was when you were towing off, when you were towing off, the foam seemed to be quite light under the toes. No such problem with the Adigero RC2. 
it felt great on the foot. The laces locked down really tight. We still got an eyelet left if you wanted to go tighter. It locked down. The heel is so sturdy and firm. And the heel was locked in there. No slippage whatsoever on the initial run. And size-wise, I would say it's true to size, though it is, like most running shoes, it is narrow in the mid in the midfoot there. So if you've got wider feet, that might be a problem. But for me, it was true to size. Toes in the toe box, plenty of room to move. So to me, it was great. Uh, as I said, the, the upper earlier on is a mesh material and it's see-through. If you put your hand in there, you can see your fingers through it. Very breathable, very light. For a budget shoe, this is brilliant. This is definitely going in the rotation. I would say it's going to be great for general training runs. Um, you should be able to put put a good time in on a 5k with this. Or up to a 10k, you probably it's probably a really good shoe for your 5 and your 10k's. I would say you probably can do a half marathon in it, but no, it's not a marathon shoe, so you're not doing 26.2 miles in it. I don't think you've got enough protection uh, in the padding to run a, a marathon. You know, you, you do take a lot of pounding of the legs, unless your legs are brilliant and are a lot of muscle and are well built, then I don't think this shoe is going to be good for full marathon distances. But the half marathon and under your 10Ks and your 5Ks, this shoe is brilliant. And if you can get it for less than £45, it's a brilliant beginner shoe. So it's the Adidas Adigero RC2. Have a look out for it. If you can pick it up as a general training shoe or as a starter shoe, for a budget runner, this is brilliant. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this four and a half out of five. I'm knocking half off because it's supposed to be continental rubber, but it doesn't say, and people are saying it's not. But saying that, the traction in the corners, as we was going around the corners, and as we were doing our social distancing and running two meters around people, plenty of grip, but it was a nice sunny, dry day. So I've not run, run in the wet, but on a nice, dry, sunny day, it was great. So that was my initial review because it's just out of the box today. We'll revisit this shoe when we've got 50 plus miles on it. But as a budget runner, straight out of the box, I'm giving this four and a half out of five and a big thumbs up. Have you got a pair of these? If so, let me know about your experiences with them in the comments below. And if you found a good budget running shoe, please let me know about that as well. Hit me up in the comments below. Uh, we'll be hanging around. We'll re revisit in the comments quite often. So please do leave me a message. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like. And if you haven't done so, I'm going to remind you to do it now. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and make sure you turn on the notifications so you find out every time I upload new videos. If you can do that for me, it'd be great. So just to sum up, brilliant budget runner from Adidas. Thumbs up. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you next time. So till then, let's get running. <laughs>